In this video, we're going to replace the right rear caliper on this 2013 Hyundai Elantra. With a 21 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the rear tire. We're going to remove our caliper from the bracket so we can get to the pads and the rotor. We're going to do that with these two guide pins here, 14 millimeter bolts. We'll remove those now. If you can get on this with a socket, go ahead. If not, you grab a wrench. We're going to use a pry bar in here and just try and work our caliper out. All right, once you have your caliper free of the pads, you're going to hang this out of the way without putting any stress on this line. To do that, we're going to use a caliper hanger. Now that we have our caliper free, we can go ahead and remove our brake pads on our rotor here. We're just going to use that same pry bar, put it up against the metal backing, and just give it a couple of taps. And we can rotate that out. These pads have been worn down very thin. There isn't a lot of space in here to get in and twist. You can hammer this in if you want. If you are replacing the rotors and the pads, you can go ahead and do that. Another way is to take your pry tool or flathead screwdriver come in from the top front and just push outward. And rotate that out. And you can see these are definitely in need of replacing. Now we can remove our caliper bracket. It's held on by two bolts. These are 14 millimeter bolts. So with a 14 millimeter socket and a breaker bar, we'll remove those now. All right, so now with our new caliper bracket, we're going to put in our new brake hardware. It's going to go right in these grooves here. Just press into place. We'll do the same on the other side. Now before we go ahead and install this on the vehicle, we're going to put some brake grease in where our pads will go. And we'll install our caliper bracket. With our 14 millimeter socket, we'll tighten them down. You don't want to tighten these all the way down. We're going to come back and torque them. We're going to torque these down to 50 foot-pounds. All right, we're going to install our rear pad. We're going to sit it into the bottom of our new brake hardware. We're going to line up our top, 
squeeze into the rotor. We're going to do the same thing on the outside. I'm going to line it up on the bottom of the new hardware and squeeze in. So now we're going to remove our parking brake function here off of this caliper. We're going to need to remove this clip and this cable off of here. Once you remove this clip, the end of the parking brake will be on this hook. To remove this, you're going to need slack in your emergency brake system, which means your emergency brake will need to be disengaged. If you can squeeze this clip down, you can remove the end from this hook. That's what we did. We just used a pair of locking pliers, squeeze this down, pop this right off. Now it should slide backwards through this bracket and off. All right, so now we have to remove our brake hose. You want to be careful not to put too much tension on this hose. What you want to do is push up a little bit while you take off this bolt. It's a 12 millimeter bolt. All right, once you break this hose free, there will be some brake fluid that starts to come out. Have a drip pan or a pad down. Your new caliper will come with a new bolt and two new crush washers. So once we get this hose off, we can set those aside. All right, on your new caliper, you'll have one crush washer and your brake hose, and then your new bolt and a crush washer. I want to start these by hand making sure not to cross thread. Go ahead and get it finger tight. And just to stop the leak, we're just gonna tighten it down a little bit extra and then we'll torque it down after. Now we're gonna mount our caliper to the caliper bracket and just slide it over our brake pads. If for some reason your piston is out too far where it will not get over these pads, you'll need to compress your piston back. Once you've done that, Slide it onto your caliper bracket. We can install our caliper bolts. With a 12 millimeter socket, we'll go ahead and snug these up. This one, bottom one, you'll need an extension to get past the spring, or you can use a wrench. All right, now with an extension to get past this spring here, we'll just snug these up. And we'll torque these caliper bolts to 50 foot-pounds. With a 12 millimeter socket, we'll torque down our brake hose to caliper bolt. It's gonna be 20 foot-pounds. All right, so now we can put our parking brake cable in place. Just want to feed that up through the bracket. We're going to take our clip and secure it in the groove. So what we're going to do to seat it in there, is just use a hammer. And just to get it a little further in on that lip, we're just going to use a flat screwdriver. Just push it in. All right, so we're going to gravity bleed the brakes. We're going to do that by pumping the brakes three or four times. And then we're going to open the bleeder screw in back. Let's so do that now. So we've pumped the brakes three or four times. I'm going to take rubber cap off our bleeder. All right, with a 10 millimeter wrench, I'm gonna crack our bleeder screw. We're gonna look for is a steady flow of fluid with no air and no breaks in the fluid. All right, so now we can reinstall our wheel. 
I'm just going to put our lug nuts on and get a couple of threads going by hand. Now with our 21 millimeter socket, I'll just snug these up. You want to do a crisscross pattern. And now we're going to torque these down to 70 foot pounds. We're going to do that in a crisscross pattern. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.